That's a <laughs> good performance though. Yeah, I thought we were good. I thought, I thought we'd beat uh, whatever team was playing in front of us and when you play like that, you, you know, it's, it's pleasing. I don't think the change, setting off changed much, I'll be honest with you, I don't. Whether they use that as an excuse, fine, whatever, that's their issues. I'm just concerned about how we play them and we were terrific today. And if anything, the final flattered them. That's the, the real positive because it could have been a lot more. We hit the post in the first half of Tom Kirk, he hit the post, we've had shots cleared off the line or blocked and, and blocked again and blocked again. Only finished with a sitter at the end of the first half. But he scored two goals and, and you go, it could have been it could have been a lot worse, but it wasn't. But, but I have to say I'll take five. Yeah, perhaps the only thing that was missing when you got 11 players from your side was the finishing qualities because you were getting in with some lovely eye-catching play. Yeah, we've got some good players. You said it, we need to get back on the horse. Yes, one result, one swallow doesn't make a summer and all the rest of it. And we've got a tough week coming up, but it was important that we performed well. You made a change in your starting 11 by giving Olisini an opportunity. You've probably been waiting for him to show what he can do as well at first team level. He's done that for you. It was terrific. It was terrific. He looked like a, a good footballer. So he's had to be patient, very patient. Too patient. I'll be honest, you know, I've said that to him, too patient. Um, he, hadn't, he hadn't moaned, he hadn't sulked, he just got on with it, kept scoring goals. And he, he, he's going to have a future. He is. Has he got things to work on? Lots. Yes. Like most of them. Um, and he's certainly not the. the the finished article by any stretch of the imagination. And it's took us a while to get him ready and him to understand exactly what it requires. And he's got a competitive midfield that you know he's got a he's got a start today and he's, he's done ever so well. Is that a slight worry? Is that another area of a management sort of role that you have where you're thinking how patient can I be with all this and before he might get frustrated and, and sort of get fed up with it all? Um, I think worry is too strong a word. But I can't think, I don't know what you're saying. I think that's. I, I would say that the onus is on our to remain professional. You know, if he starts sulking, I'll, I'll get the people to run. <laughs> you can't do that. You know, I, mean, I don't get me wrong, it's not as easy as that. I, mean, I get that and I understand that. And we've put him in and he's gone, Ooh. and then we've put him in and he's gone, mm, yeah, that's promising. And, and we put him in again and gone, yeah, that's fine. And we put him in again and he's gone, yeah, okay. Well, and then we put him in today and he goes, yeah, yeah, that's more like it. And I have to say, he wasn't up against much, but I said, you can only beat what's been in front of you. And he was trusted to that. Just bringing uh, obviously back into the equation, this is what this football club's all about. An academy player's come in the first team and scored. And his mate alongside two. him, yeah, scored two. And his mate alongside him, Ryan Wintle, from the same village, Audley, he also scores as well. Just a, a nice little feeling for those two lads. Yeah, I'm sure that's a happy car going on. Yeah. You know, they'll have an oat cake to celebrate or something <laughs> like that. Because, you know, they all always go, I've had an oat cake, gaffer. <laughs> all right, brilliant. Oh, it's scrambled egg. Scrambled egg and a sausage. <laughs> and that's, you know, that's what floats their boat. And if they keep scoring and we have a successful season, I might, I might have one with them. <laughs>